Slash WP51 return. Oh, crime any stupid clones. I really miss my Mac. Hey, Crow, what's this mean? Too many parameters hyphen WP51. What? Oh, uh, come look. Oh, uh, you used a forward slash instead of a backslash. What? Oh, oh, okay. CD backslash WP51 return. 30 seconds to commercial sign. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Satellite of Love. Tom Servo and Crow are in the middle of another user interface war. Let's watch. Oh, this is rich. Bad command or file name. Why well, they expect you to be a machine to operate this machine? Uh, and I suppose you'd prefer a little animated clown who would juggle over to the little file cabinet and then wink at you and point to the right drawer. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. sure. At least I don't have to have a photographic memory to get my Mac to work. Both user interfaces work perfectly well. It's really just a matter of the individual's personal preference. We think the joke will be on Tom Servo and Crow. Now here, the problem with IBM's incompatibles is that they lack the elegance and intuitive nature of the Mac. Mac products are reliable, proven, and they always work. Oh yeah? What about System 7? It's coming! It's coming, okay? There were a few bugs in it, okay? Boy. You can have a lot of fun with people hopelessly mired in computer nuance. Watch this. Hey, has anybody seen the mouse for my Amiga? <laughs> Amiga? <laughs> Amiga? Oh, come on. There's a machine for Woo. you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, has anyone seen my Your fat sign. Angus drive? Five, four, <laughs> three, two, two. commercial sign out. Oh, now this is really, really neat. Unrecoverable application error. This is really cute, Crow. I suppose we'll have to re-enter the entire spreadsheet now, hmm? That's no, uh -huh. no, no, no. Just rewrite the autoexec bad file and stick in a memory manager. Uh, that's all. Just take a minute. Don't worry. Yeah, while uh, Tom Servo's rebooting the computer, uh, I thought it'd be a good time to show this week's invention exchange. And uh, what I've got here, let me turn it on a second, is a uh, new tool to help expand people's consciousness. You know, Joel, there's some things that people shouldn't be conscious about. Like what? Well, like the fact that their tongues are just sitting in the bottom of their mouths all day, all night, even when they sleep. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, uh, ch chatter, but would you let me finish? Uh, I'm oh, talking sorry. about expanding people's consciousness about the recycling cause. That's why I built this audio animatronic pop can. Yeah, enough see? magic for many evenings. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, what I thought we could do is use it as a spokesperson for, like, recycling commercials when we get back to Earth. Here's yeah. a baffler worth twice the price. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, Crow, let's do yeah. that thing where I make him work and I'll manipulate the can. You do the voice, okay? okay? Right, okay. Young magicians <laughs> love this one. <laughs> yeah. Hello, folks. Remember, I recycle. Good night. No skill required. Oh, this is rich. Stands rigid inspection, a quality product. That one stung small and easy to... Ah. What do you think, sirs? I think you've got a kooky screw loose, is what I think. <laughs> oh, we have fun. Oh, quit your clowning, itchy mango, and go and get your harness on. All of it. Disco's back, frog bait, and so am I. And so is this new disco cumber bubble bun. Enter Frank. That's it, baby. Work that body. 
Make it burn. There you go. There's a good one. Oh, another good one, Frank. Yes. Come on. You can make a bubble. You just put your knees together and squeeze. Yes. I have seen the future of hip hop, Joel, and it is Frank. As for your experiment this week, it's another in a long line of Gamera giant flying turtle movies. This one's featuring Baragon, who's sort of a giant lizard dog with itchy scalp. Take this film and shove it, Joel. But you see, you could press it back down again, Crow, because he's a rock'em, sock'em, roll, but... Oh, oh, oh we got on. a movie oh, song! Well, that Cumber Bubble Bum looks kind of familiar for some reason. Water, the source of all Sandy Frank films. <laughs> D A E I O E I O. Hey, looks like a kid wrote this with a crayon. Beats. Oh, I wouldn't for one negate Nagata. He got it though. Oh, planning. I hate when he plans. There's never enough buns. Music supplied by our own Osaka High School Flying Pipers Drum Corps. Hey, I think I see my laundry. <laughs> to the wabbit. A little background first. Six months ago, an airplane carrying an atom bomb crashed while flying over the Arctic Ocean. Seen the it. Hated it. Taped it. Sharing the huge ice flows and releasing from the depths Gamera. Bill Gamera. who had been imprisoned in the ice for thousands of years. Go. Free at last! Free at last! Gamera's Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last! Captivity was to attack Japan. Ooh. All man-made weapons proved powerless against him. All scale models were powerless against him. <laughs> oh. There was only one last resort, the Z plan. Gamera was jettisoned to Mars in a rocket. Again, there was failure. And deep the rocket personal crashed shame. Into meteor and split open, liberating Gamera from the capsule. And in maybe, just maybe, in a small way, liberating all monsters everywhere. Returned to Japan and attacked the Kurobe Dam, the largest of its kind in the entire Orient. So you know it's good. Camera must have a source of fuel, and so from the power plant he extracted electricity to store in his own body. Weird, huh? Hmm. Hey. Right. Oh. Boom. Hey. Hmm? What's that? That's what? Hey, it's Camera. Camera. Oh, you know I thought he looked familiar. Talking one at a time. Quit talking all at the same time. Oh. Looks like a big chicken pot pie. Kind of. Ooh. Ooh. I just can't get close to anyone anymore. Oh. <laughs> Funny in color, I expected Gamera to be more of a strawberry blonde. Yeah, he's kind of a tawny. Um, Camera puts on 50,000 pounds. Oh, Three lunch times. for me, I'll think. Why does he sound like someone playing the trumpet badly? Oh, I mean like Chuck Mangione? Uh, <laughs> Tokyo, I think it's time to start thinking about solar power. Uh, he can't resist. He's a slave to his own passion. Gamera craves the creamy taste of flames. Oh, now, is that necessary, young man? I mean... Charbroiled city. Charbroiled city. Charbroiled city. Man, he's got a short reach. Huh? No, break the city at 7,500 degrees. Quick, get the KC masterpiece sauce. I think he means it this time. Move it. Hey, hurry up. Put the power in all Come on. Oh, I'm full. Oh, you know what you want to do is you, you want to huh? pull off them pedals and dip it in that oh, sauce good. there. Oh, that's mm. really super neat. Yeah, try the lemon. Yeah. You know, that reminds mm. me I should shingle my roof when I get back to Earth. Huh? Mm. 
Oh, it looks like Wembley Stadium after a soccer match. No, there's a lot of stuff going on down there. Mm. So. Oops, that was me. My fault. Uh, sorry. I can't see my head's inside, you know. <laughs> Higher, Gamera. Higher. About 50 feet up. Okay, back up and push. Uh-oh. A spectacular cascade of Alka Seltzer. I can't believe Gamera ate the whole thing. He ate it, Ralph. <laughs> Look, water, the source of all. We know. We know. <laughs> Gamera loves flame. But they go straight to his hips. He left Japan as suddenly as he had arrived right. and headed for Mount Uzal in the equator, <laughs> flying directly toward the flowing molten lava. He had a contract with Whammo. When in Cleveland, visit the Golden Dragon Inn, only 15 minutes from our cinema. And now back to our film, Sky King, the motion picture. Tell me, are you really going to resign? Yeah. This is my last day up here. I will serve my master down there. But you've just earned your wings after so much dedicated work. Clarence. What made you decide to quit? Tired of flying already? Certainly not. My dream is to continue flying. And have my voice dubbed. Or else life would be worthless. Hmm. But that's why I'm quitting now. I want to learn more. You should too. So that later, I will be more skilled. Fair enough. Hmm. Hey, didn't George Harrison write this song? Yeah, My yeah. Sweet Warlord. <laughs> that's cute. 33 and a third, I think. I never knew a cheese cutter could sound this good. Oh, uh, it's the Joy Luck Club blues band. <laughs> Come on, play it like you feel it, Mr. Eddie's father. And now it's Pink Lady Unplugged. Ah, uh, this ought to shut him up. Come on. Oh, they're not that bad. <laughs> uh, gang, maybe you shouldn't be smoking around mm. all those things, hmm? This one kind of looks like an avocado. Hey, can the pineapple, it's somebody. I'll get it. Ah, damn Charlie horse. It's sitting on my leg. Hmm? Superfly? Oh, it's you. Hmm? Got him. Come in. Tea, biscuits. My brother. I am dangerous to myself and others. Here's all my money. How much? <laughs> it's my pension. Ooh, Not a bucks. big help. Yeah, it's no use working for others. I've got to get my own aircraft company. Now. However small. That'll take money. And you don't have any. He just took it. Nah, nah. Well, now that we're all here, I'll tell you the plans. During the war, I found a huge opal. Hmm. Big. But believe me, it was about the size of an ostrich egg. Oh, it I gets bigger it every cake. time he tells a story. Just before I was taken away to a prisoner of war camp, I managed to hide it again in the cave where I'd found it. That was 20 years ago. Don't It'll mention gone. the war. The cave lies deep in a dense jungle where even the natives never go. Hmm. I think that it'll be safe. We'll be taking a big gamble. Yeah. <laughs> you me like a gamble. <laughs> we'll be able to sell it for an absolute fortune. Hmm. Are you sure it's a real opal? It's real. Yep. It must be. And there might be more as well. Since I can't get away, Case of K, you go. The name's me. Quesadilla. Gladly. Yeah. Ick. Hmm. You will all go on a cargo boat. With crutch cargo. Of course. <laughs> Get it? False names, and you'll carry forged papers. Hmm. You got them? Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course I have. Cost me a small fortune hmm. for the forgery. This is for you. This one for you. And the password is... You two will board the ship as ordinary seamen. For God's sake, don't bungle. In the jungle. We're counting on you. Thanks. Okay. Okay. The Awaji Maru will reach New Guinea in 25 days. Unload here, and then continue around this area. And then it returns back to the original harbor just about a fortnight later. You three have got that two-week period in which to locate the opal. You mean we're to quit the ship without leave and then reboard it again? That's dishonest. Hmm. I always say... 
We want to pick up the bones of our buddies who died inland during the war. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> then when you get to the airport here, you'll have to charter a helicopter. Case of K, you'll be able to fly it for them. That's why you're here. And next, money. Remember to take plenty of black market dollars with you. Make sure they have Art Linkletter's picture on them. Be careful of the scorpions. And white You've snake. had it if they stay. <laughs> The jungle is full of many other dangers as well. So take these just to be safe. And don't run by the pool. And bring a washcloth and a Ziploc bag to clean up after baby. Yeah, and don't go into the water until an hour after you've eaten. And those uh, chick cheese? Just who do they think we are anyway? Ah, oh, stop Rumble. crumbling. Patience. Go. <sighs> hey, you! Huh? My room's filthy. So clean it. Do it yourself. Uh, hey, it's TV's Mr. T. Oh. Uh, I pity those fools. <laughs> working hard? No, hardly yeah. working. <laughs> it's Why can't a... you find us some easier work to do? Just stick with it. Uh, help us out. Come on, huh? It's we have fun. to clean the washroom, too. <laughs> it's no joke. Oh, sorry, I forgot <clears throat> I laughed. Hey, my cabin tonight. Only three more days. Are you absolutely sure? Mm. I've got a calendar. I know. Don't give it up now. Okay. Well, nearing the Santana concert, we put on our love bees and put down the landing gear of our VW microbus. And we're just in time to see Don Ho. And his sister, Heidi. <laughs> All the Earth Mothers are expressing their political stances. Quite a stance, too. And a lawnmower. Hey! The male of the tribe is saying, how about dinner and a movie? The female responds with, okay, but I've seen Mannequin already. The male says he just wants to go to sleep, but the female wants to talk. Oh. What, did somebody drop a Coke bottle all of a sudden? Attention all personnel. Tonight's movie is The Jungle Goddess, starring George Reeves, a guy who looks like Ernie Colfax, and lots of French fried potatoes. <laughs> Hi, we're from America. We've come to decimate your jungle, convert your youth, and make you feel inferior. Look, it's Robert Duvall. Hello? Anybody here? You know, I swear there were a lot of dancers here a minute ago. Doesn't make figure. Go figure. How was your flight? Uh, hey, quit <laughs> clowning. It's probably quite far to the caves. Ah. Uh. Ooh, they seem rude. Hey, get me. I'm a stranger in paradise, hey, big time. <laughs> huh? Huh? Look, there's writing. Ooh. It says Yankees of go home. there is. It's a guidepost. Not much use if we can't read it. How many words or pictures? Uh-huh. Hey, give me the map, will you? I think that there might be a shortcut through the jungle somewhere. Uh, who goosed me? Pat Morita, denture wearer. Hey, watch it. Don't wave that gun, we're quite safe. Yes, it's a movie. Get pleased. They helped us a lot during the war, they're good people. Yeah. So better let me keep it. Give it here, huh? Uh -oh. I'll uh, shoot myself to prove her friendly. Hey. Ask one of them to be our guide. How can I? None of them understand us. You're wrong. I understand perfectly. Hey, is anybody called Dibs yet? Dibs! Oh, Dibs. Darn, darn. Are you smitten by my eyes by now? <sighs> oh, it's my dad. I got to go now. Oh, it's Tom Wolf. Oh, thank God. The contemporary novel is saved. <laughs> Hello, kid. gentlemen, come directly from Japan? Yes. Who are you? A doctor. I've been living and working with the people of these islands for over ten years. Yes, tenure then. <laughs> tenure. Our friend, the doctor, came with his wife to study certain diseases. Then his wife died of the very disease he was curing. Convenient. He decided hmm. to stay here the rest of his life. We're impressed. It is quiet here. I feel now that I belong to this peaceful village. I never even think of my own home any longer. Not even a little? 
And I've been extremely fortunate, for Karen is my assistant and uh, an excellent We get too. the picture. <laughs> ah. Oh. By the way, what has brought you to such a backward spot? The wind, ma'am. The wild wind. Well, sir, we've come to investigate a certain cave. Hmm. It isn't far from here. Hmm. <laughs> No go, Navajo. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Doctor, do you know where the cave is? Oh, you must not go near that cave. Believe me. And why not? It's called Rainbow Valley. The Care Bears live there. What is that? On that stone, there's a warning to all. It says warning. It forbids us to go there, and he who disobeys it will not return. Mm. But why? Nobody knows. The trouble that I've seen. I stood there. Thousands of years, so they say. Only a fool would disobey. Our ancestors handed down a warning that an evil spirit dwells there, and it is dangerous even to approach the Valley of the Rainbow. Go on. Then no one here will act as our guide. Certainly not. All the people are begging you not to go. You must respect their wishes on this point. Even his royal neck brace says so. All right, huddle up, everybody. Hey. Bring it in. Come on. Bring Listen. it in. Darn tourists. Ha! They don't want anyone to go near that cave. What more proof could there be that there's hidden treasure there? Hmm. Of course. And they've even created a legend to protect it. Hmm. The evil spirit is really the Scorpio my brother mentioned then. Hmm. We'll never get a guide from them. I'll have to call Kelly girls. Let's go alone. This way. But what if the treasure really does belong to these natives? So we're going to take it anyway. Okay. Hey, let's go. Gee. Come on, but I let's go. No, no! You mustn't go in there! Just wait! Don't go! The maid of God! Oh, oh, disturb Native Rubber! Don't go in there! Oh! 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 Hey, watch out! All right, all right. I didn't think this gun would come in handy so soon. Right, now, let's go. Just letting off a little steam. Gotta go. Oh, we gotta go, too. Nice meeting you, folks. Whoa. Thanks for everything. And we'll be right back right after this. Kids, here's the greatest, the neatest, the latest thing. 5,000 piece fighting men and monsters said, some pieces not included. Astonish and baffle your friends and foes while you pulverize Japan. Here's what you get. 500 Japanese light infantry body parts may not be missing. 36 helpless officials, 20 tanks, 15 recoilless rifles not in the set. 24 bazooka gun runners, 18 ambulance chasers, 12 jet fighters, sick not included. 16 helicopter parts, 200 shooting crouchers, 19 fighting clowns, 8 deserters, 6 Kisalayan, 24 Mohawk Indians, and much, 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 much more. Act now and receive at half the extra value of the mystifying monster action pack. Pack. Flame on with camera, torso sold separately. He spits real fire and causes real pain. Solid rubber bear gun comes complete with optional ram tongue action. Not responsible for nerve damage. And amuse your friends with Topo, Meep Song, and Bart the Batlin Belgian and Dive. Some parts may not exist. Act now, act often, and snap on the entire Tokyo metropolitan area complete with buildings, bridges, and the breakaway Monty, Nuko Dam, smaller than shown. Trample the ad on hapless citizen playset, then abhor the action with the fabulous anti-war protest pack. Senator Wellstone not included. But that's not all. Relive your favorite Japanese movie carnage with the lights. Camera action series. There's the gimp, the goon, the shame filled brother, the hapless Keisha, and the pull apart voodoo Kenny. Pose in the nude with the frisky kitten review, then watch the action from high atop Tokyo Tower as the twisted world you create explodes in rivers of blood and endless pain. Order today. Offer limited. Not available in Utah or Puerto Rico. Price is subject to win. Please wear rubber underwear and some parts. Baby, made a chicken. Neck now. Buy bonds. A dog. Mommy. 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 Okay, okay ooh, breathe, boy. Ooh, breathe. Oh, mommy. That was a good one. Let's not mommy. do that again. Mommy. Here's something we think you'll really like. Mommy. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, I found my hamster. Uh, what are we looking for again? What does it look like? Hmm? Huh? A bowling ball? Hey! <sighs> it's here! Earl Anthony's signature. I'm crying. Our gamble paid off. Me. Ah, we got the opal. It's ours. Those men. No wonder they tried to stop us. Man, that was fast. But now we're multi-millionaires. Just wait till I get home. I'll buy a great big mansion. 
and keep all the cupboard stuff full of, of all the dumb luck. Then I'll buy myself uh -oh. a big car. You got a little uh, like a dream. Think of my wife. Scorpion. She'll burst with happiness. Say. I'll do just what I please from now on. Just think. No more broccoli. You'll own an aircraft company. I'm so <laughs> pleased I shall go mad. On a dear, you say something, eh? Uh, any last words? Hey, on a dear, aren't you happy that we found it? No. Friendship is worth much more than the opal to me. <laughs> I just want you kids to be good. Him out to share a good friend. Imagine sharing all this with us. <laughs> it's fine. Think how happy he'll be that we found it. Oh, yeah. I wish I could tell him. Hey! Here I go! Holy, holy, and free! We found the opal already! Boy, is he high. <clears throat> Excuse me, Death, where is thy sting? We're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> what an eccentric performance. Any minute now, I think we are. Uh, Bingo. Up, oh, time to break out the back team. Oh. Well, at least he's dying a millionaire. <laughs> I'll get the first aid kit. Come on, Jerry. Push down on the wound. Go. For one brief sending moment, there was a Camelot. Go. Put a tourniquet on his neck. It's dark. Oh, kiss down. it, make it better. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna okay. you. Bear down. Hey. Push. Don't go. Let's go. Uh, it's a boy. Congratulations. Come on, Jerry. <laughs> Come on, Jerry. Hurry. Come on, Jerry. Come on, Jerry. You've never given up on anything before. Don't quit now, man. Come on, Jerry. Jerry! Tom and Jerry, what? <laughs> Must have been his favorite cartoon. Oh, we had so much more to do. <laughs> he died as he lived. Goofy. <laughs> hey, I heard too, man. He was unlucky. Hey, I'm dealing with it. Why can't you? So, lunch? Don't cry. It's no use. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we still got a thousand wonderful hours. Hey, let's put him in a real scary pose. <laughs> well, there's one good thing at least. We've got the opal. We might as well get going. Come on, you can't bring him back to life. Oh. For safety, I'll keep the opal. Hmm? Yeah. I'm better now. I'm all right. Huh? Hmm. Hey, now. Don't you trust me with it? Well, I, uh... Trust? Hmm. You can keep the opal. I'll take the gun. Sorry, there's a seven-day waiting period on that gun. Oh. Okay. Big deal. Wait. It's a football phone. There might be other jewels hidden in the cave. Hmm. I'll bet ours isn't the only one. Let's look now that we're in here. Hey, Steve, dead buddy. Do you think that was smart of me to get the gun for the opal? I did it for you. Hmm, nipple. Now they desecrate the body. Hey, that's my family. I wonder what his sign was, Scorpio? No! <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> the, with the D and the bug and the... Bing. Pickle, pickle. No organ donor card. <laughs> you know, it's a Brunswick. I'm gonna bowl a 300 with this baby. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, hey, that's not being supportive of your friend's feelings. At least he's lighting a few candles for the guy. That's good. I don't think those are candles. Sparklers. Ah, oh, the Roadrunner's never gonna fall for this. Uh, it, uh, huh? Surprise! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> oh, filmed in Censorong! 
Irwin Allen. Ah, oh, shoot, I should have been out of the cave first. What was I thinking? Note to myself, get out of cave before blowing it up. Me and my booty. Speaking of... <clears throat> Easy on the vermouth, please. And shaken, not stirred, please. Oh, my salad! I'm kidding. Come here! Now! Saigon. Can't believe I'm still in Saigon. Oh, he's missing the luau. Oh, he can wait. <laughs> what am I doing in this place? We found you in time. You would have been dead. Minutes later. But don't think that we saved you out of kindness. We simply like our meat fresh. It's fairly clear. That friend of yours found something in the cave. Maybe. He's gone. There's no need to cover for him. He betrayed you, didn't he? In a way. He wanted all of what we found. An opal. An oboe? Opal? Yes, huge. It was as big as that. Oh, you're thinking of an ocarina. My brother hid the opal inside that cave 20 years ago. Hmm. It was to be shared between us all. Dad, Dad, he said opal to me. I think we're going to be married. Oh, hey, You got any toaster? I gotta get a coat hanger down this thing. It's itching like a bear. You killed me. <laughs> now what? Get your popcorn, peanuts, jewel thieves, frosty malts. Bob Hope's out there. I think our friend's about to become a casserole. I'd better get a plan quick. Something. I gotta get this t-shirt back to Henry Chinaski. I told him not to go in the cave, and now look what happens. Oh, it's all right. Gauguin's here. Tell him, Dad. <clears throat> what are they doing? It's a long drum solo. It's not your place to ask. They are praying to ward off the curse of the gods. Curse of the gods? Do not scorn what even science cannot explain. Something terrible will happen. Didn't if we something don't terrible back, just happen? Thousands and thousands of lives depend on its return. I see. The opal's worth that much, huh? What you found has no monetary value. Oh, take the marbles out of your mouth, old man. So, uh, whose line is it? Yours? Mine? Are we done? Is that a wrap? Oh, we're still rolling. <clears throat> Doctor, let me get it back from Japan. No, you can't. You're a girl. I will go. Oh, no. You have your patients here who need you desperately. I will go to Japan. You can't. You've never even been there. It wouldn't be sane for you to go oh, alone. Well, I have no choice. I must try to save these people. My child. Ask him to go with me. Listen, the thing you found wasn't a gem. Do you still think that it was an opal? Oh well, yeah, who does? We're afraid misfortune will follow. That's why we are praying. You don't expect me to believe that story, do you? Ha! Ah. Something terrible will happen now. The legend warns that the gods will be angry. You've disobeyed the order. None of us has ever dared to visit the valley. Ho, ho, ho. You've touched something evil and forbidden. Oh, I suppose you're perfect. What it perfect. can be, I don't know, but it's certainly not a gem. Hey, it's the start of Bonanza. Boss, Little Joe. Thank God they used Downey. Time Tunnel. 
in color. I think it's mackerel with cheese sauce on a dollop of cream. Mm. Or maybe not. It's out of focus, whatever it is. A piece of liver. Mm. This movie is fascinating. Not. No, I think it's a ballpark Frank. See, it's plumping as he cooks it. Mm. Well, I think we've pretty much determined that it is not an opal. Ooh. Nothing says loving like something from the oven. <laughs> Caution, filling is hot and alive. And so is the egg, young and blue, searches for its mother. Hey, little mucky guy. Hey, Sonny Rollins is practicing on the bridge again. Hey, doctor, play one more game, huh? Well, I hope that I'll be able to win it. Okay, you're here. Go ahead. Somebody hey. get that guy up. It's getting late. Yeah. We aren't going to short it tomorrow. Uh, aren't we? Oh, no, there are. The sick bay door won't open. Hey, look, I it's a clown. Open it. hmm. so oh. Put this flower there. No. I want to give it to your dead friend. Not now. Some other time. Hey, it's the DJ from you Delight. See, my father died on that island. So your friend doesn't seem like a stranger to me. Huh. Open it. Uh, An order. Please give him the key. Very good. Boardwalk, park, please. Oh. Oh. Hey, who took the tires off the dock? Next week on Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. What's going on here? Engine room. Give me the engine room. Engine room. Captain, captain. Uh, goodbye, ma'am. Bye. Hey, Jake and Elwood. Thanks. Cap Calloway. There's the ship. What's happening? Toy boat. Toy, toy boat. Toy boat. Toy boat. Toy boat. Toy boat. Toy boat. Hey, you sure they've got the Yoko? Mm -hmm. All right, then. Let me see it. You're asking a very high price. Yes, yes. I know. Ooh, at 7 a.m., the main hatchway caved in. Rack of the elephants, Jerry. Adam Clayton Powell. Up. Hey, it's funny, girl, and there's Barbara Streisand. Mikhail! Taxi? Oh, taxi! Cab! Taxi! Cab. Going uptown! Cab. Jeep! Uh. <clears throat> Welcome to Ellis Island. Your name is now Bob Smith. Mandolini? No, you're now Corleone. And I think I'll name you Appetite. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed your Norwegian Princess Cruise. Take the ambulance over there. Take that blanket. Better get this man in. Oops, I wet him. Hey! hey did you ever see the movie Papi? Oh, no, no. Thanks. <laughs> oh, no, no, I, I say this. Hey, they're giving away free clothes over there. Uh, I was lucky. Something important. Mm -hmm. Something important, too. What do you got there? Your friend's bones. You can keep them, you fool. Oh? Huh? They're pig's bones. Wah, wah, wah. Pig's bones. Ah, excuse me, have you come from that ship? I have. Do you know where Casey K is? Who'd you say? Casey K. Uh, he was a seaman on the same ship. Uh, let me see. Mm, let's see, Casey I'm a psychic. You're the great uh, Karnak. Uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, 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 Thank heavens you're all right. Yes. Uh, but where's my brother? Casey K. Casey K. Bad news. What's happened to him then? Bad news. Sorry. Sorry. Right. He's dead. Huh? He's dead? Mm. He slipped and fell. Onto some live grenades. Inside the cave. Kawajiri, too. Kawajiri, Kawabunga. I searched for them both. Ooh. Through the whole cave. For about ten seconds. But I couldn't find their bodies. It was terrible. Did you find the gem? Did you? I want to look at it. Of course. I've got it. Is it true? Is it? Let me see it then. The opal sank when the ship did. Hmm? I was keeping it safe by hiding it in my cabin. Hmm. I don't believe you. Well, I'm telling you the truth. All right, it wasn't my cabin. The sea is very deep right here. A diver can retrieve it. 
No, 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 uh, 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 uh. Mm. no, 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 no. You're a fool to think we'll ever get it back. You call me when you found it. Till then, I'll keep my money. Goodbye. Well, it's down to me and you and me and well, part of your eye. Believe me. Left. Hey, what's that? It's your finger and it's pointing. Dope. Oh, it's the ghost of Esther Williams. It's, no, it's Mr. Bubble and boy is he cheesed. Mr. Bubble Pool Party. Oh, please, there's a man in the bathtub. Stop, Grandma, it's me. What'll we do? We need more Calgon. There are two Japanese army geeks in the lot with their lights on. Juicy new character. Enjoy me. I'm what's known as the complication. The antagonist, if you will. Well, for my first number, I'd like to crush a warehouse. It's an old favorite. I think you're gonna like it. It goes something like this. Thank you. Thank you very much. I did that on the Sullivan Show. But uh, they only filmed me from the waist up. They say I flipped them off. But it's just the way my fingers are constructed. <laughs> if Gamera craves fire, what does Baragon crave? Uh, ben and Jerry's, Cherry Garcia. <laughs> Natch. Hey, I'm doing my own stunts. If wholesome family entertainment is old-fashioned, then call me old-fashioned. Look at the clown jeep. Uh oh. Come, Tiny Tim. God bless us, everyone. What do you say? Well, roughly translated, it means beat cheeks. Hey, drag that nurse along. She might come in handy. Oh, he's leaking. Ugh. Like it so far, but wait, there's more. This serrated edge will slice tomatoes so thin you can see right through them. About this time, most folks are wondering, am I a dog? I don't even know. Rough, rough. Just kidding. <laughs> Oh no, he thinks that's a giant fire hydrant. Don't lift your leg, boy. I think, uh, why don't you treat yourself? You're a growing monster. Go ahead. Oh, he got Blah. that from Gene Simmons. I'm your boyfriend now. Blah. Time to go? Time to go. Oh, come on. I want to watch the puppy. Just to beer in a bump sometimes. Oh, but I never really drink anything, you know oh, that. No, uh, I'll have the occasional light beer and Merle likes his scotch, you know. But oh, anyway, uh, you never believe what Margaret told me about the steward boy. Well, oh, I am dying. Just tell me about okay. what he's into. Hey, how was everything, ladies? Oh. oh, you really did a number on this Mexiquita fajita super bel grande treat, didn't you? Let oh, it was good you. and so filling. Oh, yes, everything's just wonderful. I'm really full. Me okay, too. good. Well, I'm going to be heading back to get this dessert tray. Oh, and uh, do you want anything? Coffee, tea, shot of tequila. Huh? Oh, heavens no, we're fine right okay, now. Okay, I'll be right back. Excuse oh, me. Oh, he is super neat and so creative. Oh, honey, they all are. This is my favorite place to come. Oh, not every day, but, you know, oh, a special treat sometimes. Oh, you heavens. see all the antiques on the wall oh, here? I love them. Oh, they do it up so colorful. Mm -hmm. You got to get down here on Halloween I've sometime because they all dress up in costumes, and it's super colorful and so much fun. Okay, okay. Really? here we are, girls. Oh, my. Here it oh, is. We're in okay. trouble now, honey. Now, <laughs> over here... We've got TGI Tokyo's biggest seller. Here it is, the Chocolate Towering Inferno, and it is decadent, mm. but uh, you probably don't like chocolate, do you? Oh, no, oh I love it. Chocolate. Yes. I'm kidding, of course, everyone <laughs> loves chocolate. <laughs> oh, uh, this one here you probably wouldn't be interested in. Oh. I'm just kidding, it's a little rich, you know. <laughs> but this is our Apple Double Mur Murder Suicide Tort. It's kind of spicy and has a little rum in it, so I'm going to have to see your IDs, girls. Oh, you are so I'm sweet. This okay. is so sweet. Anyway, oh. this last one over here is a, too dense for me to even pick up. This is our vanilla cross-country killing spree with fudge sauce. One bite of this and you 
Uh, lock tongues with Loki, evil god of strife and discord on the seventh platform of hell. I'm just kidding. It's a little rich. Can I get you one? <laughs> Should, honey, that's the one I'm going to have. Oh, uh, nothing for me. Please. Oh, and a okay. Diet Pepsi, please. Another. All right, that's good. Uh, one of those and a Diet Pepsi. I'll get you a fork just in case you want to try it. Okay? He knows me he so sure well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's such a cute boy. Oh, so uh, waiter. A waiter. Yeah. Wait, uh, could we have separate checks, please? Uh, I'm sorry, ladies. We don't do that here at TGI. Now, what a jerk. Oh, no kidding. Uh, ladies, uh, yes? we have a movie song. That was just delightful. Oh, that was sweet. Well, you got any Toms in the car? I got a little gas, I think. I guess we'll have to postpone the search hmm? until this monster's dead. We can't put it off forever. It'll be too late. The June wedding is when so cliche. Down, the police and the insurance company are bound to mess around with that ship. Oh, that's good booze. And we'll never get the Opal back. So we'll have to act now. It's the only chance we've got to find it. First, we'll need money. Oh, I've got quite a bit of money put aside. That's good. Is it in cash? I have a dowry. We could live with my and folks. we can hire the diver. Director! Director! Hmm? The monster is getting nearer to Osaka. What? Huh? The radio says so. It'll kill all of us. Let's leave here. Let's get out. Fine, honey. What time's dinner? Are we having rice again? Well, we can't pull it up because we've got to leave Osaka. If we go now, we'll lose it. After all the risks I've taken. I'm leaving. Let's go to Kobe. It'll be safe there. Yeah. No. I'm not going until we brought that opal up here. This confusion is just what we need. Nobody will notice. Not now. Fool! We've got to. Fool. No, we'll have to give it up for a little while. I can't give it up. Not after I've killed two men. Huh? Oh. Anora! We can't wait longer. Anora! What was that you said? Tell me. You said that you've killed two men. Uh, oh, that figure of speech metaphor. <laughs> Teasing. <laughs> you've killed them both? No, well, not at the same time. I only meant they've given their lives for this. Maya! Pants on fire. You murdered my brother so that you'd have the opal to yourself. Of course not. Baby, I did. Hmm. You've killed them. You've killed them both in cold blood. No. It, you... No. Yeah. Yeah. Tiny Tim, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Whatever you do, don't hit the inflatable reindeer, please. Oh. Yeah. Henry, the boys are at it again. Yeah, you're killing! You killed my brother! You dirty rat. Huh? Stop it! Stop it! Oh, no! You're killing him! Isn't one of them no kung fu? There's not enough room. Oh, no. Yeah. That's it. Out you pixies go through the door, out the window. No, you're killing him! Hey, she's got money on you. Don't lose. Yeah. Hey, don't worry, she's a stock mom. Ooh, oh, oh. cream. Oh. oh, great. Finish him off with a bowling locker. Oh, oh. He had to hurt with his bad back. Oh. Now, where are those raffle tickets? Save me! Huh? Get me out of here! Forget the lunch and go for the wallet. Mm -hmm. Save me! Six, six. Uh, all right, come on, let's go. Thanks for a lovely dinner. <laughs> Aren't you glad you used dial? Don't you wish everyone did? Let's get out, Lord! Oh, my God! Nice wood grain. Mm, really nice. Oh, we're the garter. Oh. Very stylish shot. Aw, oh, Joel, can I have a puppy like that? Please. You know, he'd be perfect for ring toss. <laughs> Look at the beak on him. You folks gotta excuse me. I'm not used to this city. Hot child in the city, running wild, looking pretty. I mean, where are all the Nick Gilder jokes? Boy, let me tell you. Poor suckers chained to a desk while I roam free. Go figure. You know, I miss my Hot Wheels set. Oh, God. Bye. 
Toyland. Toyland. I can't believe I'm still in Toyland. <laughs> A world of whimsy. Oh, look at him go. Good thing he's sporting Teflon, huh? How about a tongue sandwich, Tokyo? You know, you don't see that a lot in nature. No. Really. Mm. It's all Christmassy. Mm. Frosted mini tanks, gang. Rosebud. <laughs> His tank was called Rosebud. The monster Did you know is its most powerful mm, ruined it. Everything within reach is immediately destroyed. Hi, folks. How's the shower, lady? <laughs> it's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your kids are? I ate them. Ah, I love that boat. <laughs> Property values plummet when whole neighborhood suffers from freezer burn. <coughs> little nip in the air. Yeah. Huh? Unusual weather we're having. It's a marshmallow world. It's pretty. <laughs> the frozen pagoda treat. Hmm? Ah, show me something I haven't seen. You know, I saw a wire. That wrecks the oh. whole thing. I mean, this is fake? Yeah. Oh, for crying out loud. Scarecrow. Well, let's see, that's called French combat, isn't it? <laughs> oh! Abort mission. Uh, we're taking orders. Who wants a bear claw? Oh, I'm not in this scene. Wait a minute. Mao is a Toastmaster? The monster can destroy everything with its tongue. You try so saying that without laughing. Get within its range, weapons are useless. Well then, let's not send we'll your men. We'll make our next attack on it from some distance. Will that be safe enough? Possibly. We do have one site that's out of his range. Right here, where we right have here. a missile corps stationed, the Suzuka. Hey, Park. that's Ireland. It'll be too far away. The monster's tongue cannot possibly reach it. It's only a mile long. Whoa! That's Steve's Park, Colorado. Meet the Stinger, Big Bertha, the Gremlin. He's dreaming of big, mutated, armor-covered rabbits. All right. Whoa, has that guy been near radiation? Come on, hot flashes. The men have completed preparation, sir. HD. <laughs> we are standing by for orders, sir. Right. Begin the attack. Morning. Oh, good morning. Ah, good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning. This is Baragon, starting our broadcast day. Wait a minute, something's rotten in Osaka now! He wakes up with the worst breath of the millennium. <laughs> I wonder if they'll phone. call off school today. It's the Rockettes! Woo! I, oh, uh -huh. Legs up, girls. What? A Spina Technicolor Spectrum Ray? Ah, it's a Skittles commercial. Oh, yeah. From hell. Oh, I'm sure he could do that. How do he know? Bing. Hmm. Well, that went well. Mm. <laughs> Camera is attracted by any form of heat energy. And I'm attracted to B. Arthur. Go figure. <laughs> So Gamera is flying toward it over Osaka. Hey. It's becoming a starburst fruit chew before my eyes. Oh. Camera's melting like a lemon drop high above the chimney tops. Ah, uh, sir, it's not an escalator. The missile oh. ah. The attack by the missile the corps have proved unsuccessful against Baragon's rainbow. And here we end the 9 p.m. news bulletin. What, have they got radios Further in their kids' heads? What? As they happen. In the meantime, some music by Yanni. You know, it's unsettling, but beautiful. Mm -hmm. Quietly disturbing. 
What a dismal place to be held up with you, lot. No, you can't play your accordion. How are we going to be stuck here like a bunch of animals? Huh? Why are they making all this fuss about a pony little monster? Huh? Why? Why don't you shut up? You make me sick. <laughs> oh, not really. Oh, Reverend Moon's holding a prayer and share. Nights at 11, here at Comedy Central. Camera is vulnerable to the cold. He has been frozen powerless by this new monster. Named Clarence Birdseye. But the second monster is unharmed. And now the authorities are without the means to act. They have already used it's every Baragon. method of their disposal. Baragon? It now is. The authorities I thought it was another monster, but it's my Baragon! From the monster. Oh, God, could he kiss? Carrie, what's wrong? Are you ill? I'm carrying Barragan's child. We've come too late. I just couldn't believe that your story was true. I'm responsible for bringing this. No! Ah, don't Let's do go that. As soon as it's possible to get there. You know of a way to get rid of it? Yes, mm -hmm. I do. Yeah. I've got the answer here. Mm -hmm. Let's hurry to stop all this horror. Okay, I'm with you. Oh. <laughs> hey, gee, lay off for a minute, would ya? Oh, that's a bridge over troubled models. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, and I can't even get this open. Oh. Hey, Louie, you still okay in there? Yeah, I'm okay. Huh? You. Oh, no, dear. Oh, it's with no, the it's thing. I'm sorry about the thing. But it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that I'll lobe. And his Leopold, Help too. <laughs> uh, boing, we'll be able boing. to find the opal. <clears throat> you fool. It wasn't a jewel. What's that? It was a monster's egg. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Good I tell you that the opal was the egg out of which the monster hatched. Uh, it's our fault. You and I brought this destruction here. <laughs> We're going to kill that monster before it's too late. Don't give me that story. Uh, here's one. Two Chinamen walk into a bar. Ha! I've just come from my brother's. He and his wife are both dead. Mm. Their house burned. Someone saw you running out of their house just before the fire. You! Hey, I was in Austria during the whole so thing, honest. Not my fault. You liar! Pants on fire. Oh, uh, oh that's good. Hit him with wicker. <laughs> Not the Johnny Walker! <laughs> hey, uh, honey, you can jump here anytime. Jump in, come on. Thank you. Fine. There we go. Ouch. Ouch. Uh oh. Ginsu 2000. Cuts through lead pipe and still disembowels. Yeah. I feel like I'm watching Mannix. Da -dum, da -dum. I think they'd be able to use Kung Fu or something. Yeah. Where's Bruce Lee when you need him? Ow. Sucker punch. Ow. Ow. Ah, you're lucky my chick's here, man. That's it. Don't try to understand him. Just ride and rope and brand him. Now, when I left the house this morning, I had a short rope, a long rope, and a medium sized rope. Would you now, just I don't tie him up. Sorry. Sorry. Did you put your finger there for a sec? Okay. Good. Time on that. Time, please. <laughs> Oh, he's been shooting up. Huh? What in oh, the hold world? Hold on here. <laughs> hey. Wait a minute. This is one weird scene. 
Oh, you got a little, uh, uh, forget it. You are one spooky chick. Do you mind if I don't call you again? Ew. Oh, he's just her type, too. A positive, that is. <laughs> you know you're beautiful when you're bloody. I'm all right. Let's go. Hey. Is Please her name help. antiseptic? Hey. Let's go, let's go. Hey. Wait. Uh, I, I apologize. Help me. I'm trying to say I'm sorry. Poor guy. So dull. Hey, your hair got shorter. May I tell you? No. Something. No. If you please. No. Yes, go ahead. I sucked his blood and I liked it. Baragon is a land animal. Once in the water, his cells melt. Purple blood flows out quickly. At least that is the legend our ancestors have passed down to us. Mm -hmm. His strength goes rapidly. Mm. But also his tongue would become paralyzed and therefore harmless. And it would be easy to approach him and destroy him then. Mm, like the Wicked Witch, we eh? We'll pull Baragon to the water, and then he'll drown himself. It's the answer. And how do we lure him? With this. Mm. Dove bars? Oh. Jet trap. Say. We have preserved this huge diamond in our village for many generations. But what has the diamond got to do with Baragon? Now, keep your shirt on. It's cubic zirconia. This will draw him on irresistibly. We can use it to lure him into the water. Mm -hmm. Does your village have many diamonds this size? Simmer Go down, ahead. you gold digger. Gee. Just this one is left. Every thousand years, a monster such as this is born in my village. That's a long gestation Each period. Each time one is born, another of our diamonds must be sacrificed. Hmm. It is dropped <clears> into the lake to lure the monster to its death. If that's the case, I realize how precious this last diamond is. Are you sure that Baragon will respond as the legend has predicted? Nope. If you don't believe in it, you are doubting the gods. Well, I guess I stepped on a few toes there, sir. We haven't time to waste. It's the only idea that hasn't been tried. Oh, what about the Z-Plan? to work at once. Sorry. In which direction shall we guide him? Is there a large lake to sink him in? There's Biwa Lake. I can't untie well, it. cut her with that knife. There. Geishas who love too much. An attempt is being made to move away from... Oh, the rope, not my wrist. Beware oh. is considered the safest place to deposit him. Authorities hope that the 5,000 carat diamond, the largest That's in the it. World, Talk it over with Jack Daniels. Wow, Daniel. what an incredible the scheme. The A 5,000 carat diamond to be sunk in Beaver Lake just to get the monster. What? Oh. Huh? Are you sure? Of course. A native girl brought it to Japan. Who told you? The radio announced it. Was she in Bride of Frankenstein? Oh, then. Mm. Those natives did have a jewel worth more than I'd ever dreamed of. But Daddy needs his medicine. <sighs> Last call. All right. Mm. So I'll get it. What, a jewel bucket? Oh, right on me. In a final attempt to rid Japan of Baragon, Operation Diamond is put into effect. They offered him a cocktail. A carat diamond is used to trick the monster into abandoning his natural environment, land, for the waters of Lake Biwa. Scenic Lake Biwa. Yeah, right. I'm heading off to a lake. You think I was born yesterday? Oh, wait, I was. <laughs> Traffic on the I-94 outbound is still bumper to bumper during the sundown slowdown. up to one of your little schemes again, you little conniver. Get me, I'm Carol Channing. Oh, he's cuter than Carol Channing. Oh. <laughs> you know, don't you think a disco ball would have been a little cheaper? Mm -hmm. Oh, look, there's Liz Taylor. Oh, he's smaller than Liz Taylor. Come on, be nice. <laughs> oh, fun. What's wrong? Keep what dangling and shaking it. I think he's going for it. Jerk I, I gotta go walkies. No use. You won't follow. We failed. Here's one for you. Why did I cross the road? There's no right answer. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, now what? We smell them. 
Shame, shame all around. Overpass? I don't think so. <laughs> To real world four. If this legend that the villagers believe in is really true, and I doubt it, then kindly tell me why he disregarded the diamond. He didn't like the cut, the you clarity, know, the color of carrot. I suspected the validity of her story from the first time that I heard her speak. It was too much of a fairy tale, and we should never have listened to her. Oh, geez, heap more shame on her. Besides, I doubt very much that there was a real diamond. If a gem that size existed anywhere in the world, there'd be reports of it. So it failed. But it isn't her fault. She was doing her best to give you a help? Listen. You're just trying to lay all the blame on us? Yeah, yeah and Scarecrow's, Scarecrow's brain. brain. Just remember that it was your greed that brought all this misery upon us in the first place. You got me. Still, we try to help. Be quiet. And go to your room. I acted shamefully, I know. She's blameless. She gave you one possible plan. It's just been a foolish waste of precious time. Hmm. I know, but it isn't her fault. Die, no. die, die! I'm sorry. Forgive me. Areas to the west have been most recently hit. I have to go now. To the little general's room, you know. In transporting victims to the three he hurts me so. Set up to accommodate the excessive number of casualties. There, there, dear. Let's get you a pint of fresh type A. Residents are advised to take whatever action they can to treat the wounds of relatives and friends on the spot instead of waiting I'll for get a room. Of medical mm -hmm. teams. I'll repeat that message. Uh, I hate to pull rank on you, son, but, um... In fact, we're very much obliged to you. You tried your best. She is a wild tigress. Excuse she? me. This gentleman is Dr. Sato. Hello. Ah. How are you? Fine, thanks. Good. You? This time you've got some real trouble. Ah, we certainly have. Uh-huh. Think you can help us? Have you got some suggestions to make? I'm glad I stopped by. On my way over yes. here. I believe that Barrigan was exposed to an infrared ray while still an egg. And I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower you grows. See, I was on the ship that brought the egg here to Japan. Yeah. An odorer. Uh, yeah. He was the man who found the egg, thinking it was a gem. Mm -hmm. He was then receiving infrared ray treatment for athlete's foot. And yeah, what's so absorbing? Now, it's quite Junior. possible that he forgot to turn the lamp off. It was probably directed towards the egg. We can look back there. It's Cary Grant in the, the Fabergé years. At very close range and over quite a substantial period of time. Castro's so the there too. must have speeded up considerably the growth of the monster. And that explains it. Now I understand what's happened. <coughs> the legend says Baragon should take ten years to reach his present size. Ah, indeed. Are you certain that it should take ten years to mature? Yes, I am. Baragon is really a freak with an abnormal body. I know the feeling. That's something we doctors can explain. If an expectant mother is exposed to radioactivity, uh -huh. a freak may be born. Like Rick James? So then. Yep. Then that's why it showed no interest in the diamond. That's right. He's There's a no doubt super about freak. Ow, Listen, ow. now that we know that it's a freak, isn't there some different way that we should attack it? It's there Herbie. Is. Expose the diamond to the infrared ray. Will that do us any good? No, it but will. it will pad the film out the a little bit. The infrared ray speeded up the monster's birth. Bargain must therefore respond favorably to it. Yeah, I'm buying this big time. Now then, perhaps the diamond, if radioactive, will be effective. Barragan may respond to it, as you first hoped. Barragan, that's me. Karen, is there any way to make him stay where he is now? Oh, we could staple him to the floor. There's one possibility. Hmm? Our villagers have all been praying for rain. If heaven cares, it will send us rain. Why rain? We got a better idea? Water will weaken him. Our legend says that the monster cannot move while it rains. She kidding us? But why wait for the gods? Isn't it easy now to create rain? Heck, my aunt could do it. We'll produce it, all right. You direct. Man-made rain from helicopters. A flight of helicopters is sent to fly over Baragon, <laughs> spraying onto him man-made rain, a mist-like liquid, which, it is hoped, will arrest the monster's movements. At Send the in the clouds. Time, the rain should make Baragon unable to exhale his freezing vapor, thus rendering him harmless. Or at least drowsy and unable to operate heavy machinery. Well, could be worse. How? Could be raining. Oh. <laughs> Catch the drops on your tongue, it's fun. You know, uh, rainy days and Mondays always get me down. It's fun. Puppies, puppies.
These will make him sleep. Well, let's head over to the bozo drum. <laughs> this machine is called a death ray projector and a ruby is put in to act upon the light molecules. Thus, the waves of light are broken down. Right now, oh, just get on with it. you can see the machine is in the experimental stage and can't be put to practical use. Mm -hmm. But now, possibly, we can employ the diamond instead of the ruby. Neat. Let's insert it. Together. And try its effectiveness. You're trying my effectiveness. We're anxious to try it out at once. Turn it onto Barrigan and see if it works. Okay. He's sleeping. Somebody put his hand in warm water. Darn poachers. Well, there goes our ride. Baragon, you're crying. Fake. I'm just resting my eyes. Oh, look at him. He's all over the road. Oh, no. Oh, and here comes a hapless family on a Sunday ride. Um, honey, there's something on the road ahead. <laughs> what is this, the Universal Stop. Tour? Please oh. Stop. Begin. The begin. Love is kind of crazy with a spooky little girl like her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No! Company, my favorite snack. Karen, got it? Well, she never lost it. Ah, be careful. And okay. The music goes round and round and comes out here. Look, he's leaking. No, he's just dieseling. Oh. Hey, preparations ready, sir. Good. Start. Oh. Begin. We'll start. Get going. Engage. Make it so. Now. Fire. Stop. Initiate. Go. Time to get it moving. Whatever happened to Gamera? You know, he got top billing. He must have a really good agent, I think. I suppose so. Now. Huh. It's moving. It's moving. Hey. Drive on. He's a glowing guy again. Once he gets into the spotlight, we're expecting him to do a couple of jazzy show tunes. Spotlight dance, Barragon. Doing the dog. Good. Well said. Ah, uh, you know, I was, I was singing for the people. They were crawling on me. They were, they were going jolly. She's got the flare nostril look I love so much. Oh, oh now watch. Hey, He'll have black rings around his eyes when he pulls the binoculars <laughs> down. <laughs> Come on, here he goes. Here he goes. Oh. Oh, no. What's wrong? Everything. We got to lengthen the movie. So embarrassed. Rough. Rough. Let's get out of here. Right. Good start, huh? Mama. Mama. Mama, it's a boy. Oh no, Let's he's go. doing Jolson. Turn up the light. Quickly. Okay. Hey, we get some time. Right. Now I'll do it to kid. Says it all. Oh, yeah, you don't go too close. Be careful. It's going to be dangerous. No. Now, switch on. For action. And now I'd like to tell a few things about show business. Hein, hein, hein. About the time that I met this man that was coming to me on Broadway. Hein. Right. Forward now. Yes, sir. Orders came down. No jessle. Don't say it. Right. So Herbert Heuvel comes to me and he says that I'm, I'm, I'm. Vehicle! Commence progress now! To the lake! Hey, 
we're all going to the lake! Yay! Whoopee! We're the inflatable dog! I'm not going in the tunnel. Well, I'm sure not going to lose that diamond. Time to blow. No, don't go! You can't take such a risk. Let go of me and stay out of my car! Please oh, don't go! Come back here! Get away! No! Don't go! Don't go! Oh, uh, hey, Crow, any more brewskis in the cooler over there? Uh, no. Uh, how about a frozen daiquiri confection? Oh, sure. That sounds great. Boy, it sure is a nice day today, hmm? Yeah, like a warm summer night back home. Yeah. You know, back on Earth, we used to hang out at the beach all the time, or else we'd uh, go to the drive-in, which was really fun. The drive-in? Oh, yeah. We'd all pile into the car and head out to the old Lucky Twin back in uh, Buffalo on Route 5. Oh. Joel, tell us about the movies again. Hmm? Well, my little cinematic sidekicks. You know, in those days, we had real stars. We didn't need dialogue. We had faces. Yeah, kind of like this camera film, huh, Joel? Oh, yeah. But <laughs> this that's... film certainly had a lot of faces. I'll give you that for free. But these films never seem to have any big-name stars. Well, that's where you and I split the dog, my little red pal. Uh, this film is packed with celluloid heroes, and they never feel any pain. Huh. It was a magic time in Hollywood. Stars jumped at the chance to appear in a Gamera film. Wow. Here, I'll show you. Cambot, do it like I like it. See, check it out. There's Edward G. Robinson, fresh from his role in Soylent Green. Yeah, now shut up and eat your Soylent Green, eh? Soylent Green is made from people. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Here's Elvis Costello making his screen debut. I don't know. It looks more like Marshall Crenshaw to me. Or Arnold Stang. Oh, yeah. Look, here's Peter Ustinov. Hey, it looks just enough like him to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, and here we have Lon Chaney Jr. Uh, right, sure. Hey, let me finish. Cute. Next we have Steve Allen, Claude Akins, and Harrison Ford. Odd job and William Defoe. Robert Blake and William Defoe. Uh, Joel, are you okay? Hey, shut up. Hank Williams Jr., Jerry Lewis, and William Defoe. Uh, Joel, when you went to the drive-in, did you spend a lot of time in the trunk? Did I mention Jerry to you, Bots? You guys probably don't know him from hardly working or cracking up. But, oh, lady, mister, he may need a home and what in the hay? Oh, please help me. Oh, ham, uh, lady, folks, pretty we'll be lady. right back. Oh, Sorry dean. you had to see this. Oh, dean. Oh. Sunburn. Don't you there's a lot of stars in this movie. Yeah. Neat. Careful, Robin. Both hands on the bat rope at all times. It's you. Huh? Why are you here? I'm getting that diamond. Figures. Hasn't your grief caused enough grief already? Why don't you get out of here? Oh, boy. You know, guys, I'm starting to doubt their friendship. <laughs> Crying out loud. Who can understand him? Go figure. What's going on? Hey, Sergeant! Go and check! Doctor! Doctor! Give me the news! I have a right to get at that diamond. No, you haven't! Dance! Dance! The Lombada! The forbidden dance? Yeah! Else I'll shoot. I want to dance. That's giving him the raspberry. <gasps> Help me, I've been French to death! I call that a manwich. <laughs> Just something to hold him over until he gets to Osaka. No, you can't go back in the water for another hour, remember that. Why are they so sad? That's the guy that killed his brother. Well, there's something about watching a man get tongued to death. Like well, that's the way I want to go. Woo! Well, that's it. We're licked. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. That's what you get. Mom, Mom, watch me dive. Throw me a stick. I'll catch it. The plan has failed. Now we're going to swallow the massive diamond. Our only hope is that he'll pass it. So now? The only method that we have left to get rid of the monster has now been lost. Get the helicopters. Sir. Have them produce range so Paragon can't move. There is no other way. Sir. I love the theater. 
I do. Meanwhile, on a storage unit outside of Osaka. What are they, at a Columbo tryout? It's useless looking around here. We won't find a thing. Yeah, the audience is left, Ever too. Ever since I was a child, I've been told of the disastrous rainbow that the monster can make. But no one in the... Well, what's she going on about? Because one is born only after each thousand years. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see it with my own eyes. I was too young the last time. No matter how terrifying it was. Sorry, I didn't know. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Did you say uh, something? No one will ever be able to get rid of it now. It's our punishment for wanting so much wealth. So what's going to happen to Donald Trump? Yes, yes, she's buying it. If only I could work up a tear. Oh, she's going for it. Wait a minute, a napkin? That gives me an idea. Honey, you're brilliant. <laughs> hmm? Now, what are these? Snap zooms. They look like rear view mirrors. They're all that's left of the Jeep. Hmm. Are these questions why rhetorical? Why destroyed along with everything mm -hmm. else? They appear to be impervious. Neat. See what that means? There's weakness in the rainbow. And there's more of us. Oh. oh. Now, Doctor. Isn't the rainbow similar to a death ray projector? Well, yeah. it's kind of a reach, but maybe. I believe that's right. Yes. Seems logical. Sure. When the rainbow hit the mirror, it seems to have been reflected in just the way light is. It wasn't harmed, because the energy didn't penetrate it. Ah, I see. Yes. Reflected. Kill him. Oh. The principle itself's really a simple enough one. Hmm. You may have hit on something important. Hmm. But will this help us? Can we use it against Barragon? No, but it's something to do. Yes, sir. I'm an amateur in these matters, but I have an idea. <laughs> hmm? Here, now hold out your arm. These flames can reach an extremely intense heat. They can even melt steel. And yet, the stove itself is quite unaffected by all this heat. Now why? Oh! Ah, don't! The flames are ejected outwards away from it. But if they're turned in onto the burner itself, what would happen then? There's oh, no great. We're taking a shop stuff. course all of a sudden. Now I'm uh, going to make a birdhouse for you folks. So you see, <laughs> I the made a flute. Can be penetrated by its own flame mm -hmm. when exposed to it. Mm -hmm. In the same way, Barragon can be destroyed. Uh, come again? Do we need to know this for the test? What do you think, sir? You're toasted, mm -hmm. aren't you? That's quite an idea. So surely it's impossible to apply it here, on oh, Barragon. Why can't you ever These support me? Possible. These mirrors. We'll make a mirror large enough and reflect his rainbow onto him. So in theory, Barragon will be made to die by his own rainbow. Yeah, if that makes it work for you, of course. Mm. Mm. How very fitting. Cool. Ironic, I love All it. All right. Please get ready to carry it out. Get your costumes on. Microwave antenna at the summit of Mount Kajika is turned into a mirror in readiness for Operation Rear View Mirror. Giant shredded wheat is deployed. Hundreds of workmen are employed treating everything that holds the mirrors in place with a mercury preparation. Tanks of Windex are commissioned by the government. Kids are told by the thousands not to smudge the mirrors. At the same time, action is being taken to keep Barragan in one spot. George Winston music is played for him. Preparations for Operation Rearview Mirror have been completed. The ground force is making use of all its most advanced weapons in the attack against Barragan. It is hoped that in this way, Barragan will be angered. And maybe a little put out. He will respond by sending out his most powerful weapon, the rainbow. A forgiveness. Left by 300 degrees. 300 Left degrees? 300 degrees. Waja. Down 28 degrees, 5 seconds. Down 28 degrees, 5 heck seconds. Heck of a tan on that thing. Stop! Correct range. Correcting range, sir. Uh, advice, sir. Right! We're ready now. Everything's in place to begin. Doctor, won't it be better to wait till night when we can see the rainbow? I agree. We'll wait. 
You don't know one of my organizations has ever talked to me like that. I like it. I love it so. Oh, Grand Canyon Suite. There's no one up there. No workmen or others. Oh, no. Everything at the antenna is done by remote control. I like your oh, shirt. It's kind of drapey. Was that about repositioning the tanks? Too late. Uh, can't run from the rainbow. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Frosted Lucky Charms. Oh. Ah, that's a cheap shot. Oh, can you imagine how that must smell? Yeesh. Ah, uh, you know what really burns my butt? Me. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. Oh, 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 hot, oh, hot, oh, water, water, oh. Ooh. Baragon's dead. And Garson's got him. I think so. Uh -huh. He's dead. You've killed him. I'm faking. Oh, this is going to be just like Fatal Attraction, I know it. Oh, what, is David Lynch directing now? Separating fistulas made from delicious Smucker's grape jelly. <clears throat> oh, we just gave him a rash. Oh, God. We failed. The rays weren't powerful enough for it. We've got a dragon! Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Yeah, you've Listen, got a dragon. We must arouse him. To say hey, one more I listened to the diamond thing, but I am not going to arouse him. Baragon won't send out another rainbow. But why not? Why not, Karen? I've grown up in the jungle, mm -hmm. and I've lived amongst the wild animals. So? So I know about their ways. Oh. When an animal has once been hurt by its own mistake, it will never make the same mistake again. Not like us. What she says is right. It will never send another rainbow. Everything's in the toilet. Operation Rearview Mirror is at an end. So let's go eat. Who's hungry? You buying? Oh, no. There's nothing we can do. That's, That's the spirit. spirit. Nothing. <laughs> ah, shut up, you pathetic bastard. Get up. Quit your crying. No, oh, you're nothing but a goddamn coward. Give, uh, give me something to slap him with. But now, the buildings frozen by Barogan have begun to thaw. The ice melts away from Osaka Castle. Gamera has regained consciousness. And his pilot has relit. Ah, uh, yeah, those Lee press on there. Finally, a fight. A little death bite on the neck. <laughs> hey, bite this. You mean like this? <laughs> I am wired. He is too. Hey, 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 you kids, no splashing. Come on. Hey, this water got warm all of a sudden. Look at the light, Marion. Look away. If, if you think of them as two guys in rubber suits, it's real sad. Yeah. Yeah. Rip my tummy, rip my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> and out from the lizard came a bubbling crude. Bile, that is. Texas Tang. No, no, I don't want to get my hair wet. Oh, look. He's in the water. Mm. I'm here, Steve. It just may succeed. It's a crazy idea, but it just might work. Oh, that's... <laughs> He's 
is drowning in his own gravy. Hey, that fluoride treatment shows he's really needing to floss. Yeah. By this time, my lungs were aching for air. That is the last time you can ever do that. Don't hit or yell. Hurts, huh? <laughs> we died together, my friend. <laughs> Come on, now fight! You've never given up on anything in your life! Now fight! I wanted to Hey, it's the, the night the lights went out on Paragon. Oh, no, she said he wouldn't do another rainbow. Hey, it's stopping now. Paragon's finished. He's completely defeated. Then why do I feel so empty? Victory room. Oh, give her a kiss, you big lug. Come on. Yeah, a little sugar on the jaw. Yeah, Let's go home. You know, shouldn't they kill Gamera now that they've got him right there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Call me prudent. You know, after the thrill is gone, we're left with the cold reality that the chase was all we ever had. Over, finally. My great expedition was a disaster. Yep. Uh-huh. All that way, just to bring back anguish. But you did your best to help when you found out. Then you'll have me? It was you who gave unselfish help. Yeah, you're right, it was me. I've learned we should never let greed direct our actions. Yeah, but let's pick out my ring first. Karen. Hmm? I'll take you home, back to your peaceful village. Will you? I feel so absolutely alone right now. Solipsism is its own reward. My brother's dead. Gosh, your hand is clammy. I could never love you. Don't make me laugh. You're not alone. Hey, there's like eight hands down there. Hey, hey, get your hands out of there. You're squeezing too hard, your grip. And so we wave goodbye to our friends. Back to the ocean, the source of all credits. Gamera will be back in support your local sheriff. Nobody knows why. Oh, Sandy Frank. I don't think I've seen his name before. Good night, everyone. Enjoy the buffet. We should get out of here. Come on. Oh, uh, I'm going to stick around. I want to see how this stay? turns out. Okay. No, no, we should go. It's just water. You can stay just a little bit longer, okay? Mucho agua. Crow, if you stay in too long, you'll get wrinkly, dear. Gee, Joel, that wasn't much of a Gamera movie. Yeah, I mean, Gamera was hardly in the movie at all, yet he gets top billing. Why is that, hmm? Well, you see, uh, in this film, Gamera, Gamera wanted to spend a lot more time behind the camera. See, yeah, and that's how it all worked out. You see, in Hollywood, Gamera is considered a triple threat, a performer, director, and monster. Oh, kind of like Barbara Streisand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, you'll read about the whole story of Gamera versus Varagon in this new book, You'll Never Eat This Town for Lunch Again. See, it's all in there. Yeah. That's really interesting. You know, when it comes to behind-the-scenes stories about monster movies, I'd like to read more about it. Exactly, Tom. <laughs> Reading opens up a wonderful world of whimsy and enchantment, grades three to five. Wow, I want to read that one. Hey, Hollywood Baragon, the seamy side of monster movies. Oh, that's really neat. Now, the next one looks good, too. The best places to eat Japanese. <laughs> oh, how about that? How to destroy a city without really trying. Yeah, next one, the oldest living Japanese mutants tells all. Move your hand. And this one's great for kids, the fabulous Where's Baragon. Too. Oh, it's delightful. Too. You know, there's a lot of great, uh, also books, books on, on tape. tape? About I was just monsters. about to ask yeah. about those. <laughs> this one's The Velveteen Turtle, read by Meryl Streep. Let's listen to that one, Kamba. And so the Velveteen Turtle said to the little toy soldier, You're not like the other toys, are you? You're different. 
That is why I am going to kill you. Why? Because you are going to die. Yeah, and also, that's yeah, cut that one out. And then there's this Sharp Tongue, a memoir is read by Baragon. Let's hear that one, Cam. Hey, what are these books, Joel? Less Than Zero, I Am Not Spock, Tech on? Wars by William Shatner, oh, these an are actor, publishes a novel tonight on Emergency. These are just <laughs> mine over there. Why don't we uh, read a letter, guys? Oh, why not? Huh? Hey, okay, this one looks pretty neat. Uh, let's put that on still store there. Anyway, this is from Joel Carnes of Naperville, Illinois. Joel uh, writes, Dear Joel and gang on MST, I really like your show. My favorite people are Crow, Tom Servo, Gypsy Cambot, and you. Well, that's just about all of us, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I don't like your bosses too much. Oh, we don't either. Frank is kind of a crybaby, and Dr. Forrester yells at Frank too much. I'm 12 years old and watch your show all the time. I love the Invention Exchange. You all make terrific inventions. Hope to see more of your show. Let's put that up on the screen. Tell them where they can write, Tom. They can write to the Mystery Science Theater Information and Club, Post Office at the Finance, and the Town Hopkins, and Southern Center. Do it today. What do you think, sirs? Funny you should mention books, Booby. I asked Frank to pick me up a book to read at the beach this weekend. Uh, what did you get, Frank? Oh, you're going to love it. This is great. It's The Stand by Stephen King. This is the new uncut version, which contains all the passages that were cut from the restored version. It's really great. You're going to really oh, enjoy it. Frank. Yeah. Push the button, Frank. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.